Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Noli, and today we're gonna be playing some more Dragon Blaze. Now I am ready for tonight's update. Or probably later on update, I'm pretty sure it's tonight. Because I already have my 50 essence that I need for uh, Landy. And we're gonna see how she plays out. I have not looked at the patch notes yet, so I don't know what's going to actually be there. Because I kind of waited it off. But we're going to take a look at the patch notes together and see what it has to offer. Alright, so Drunken Falcon and Landy. I heard the guild talking about them are coming. But, see what Falcon can do. Increase cooldown of enemies. Active skills. Does not apply to bosses. I wonder does that apply to the... Um, to the big dude with the sword inside of um, guild loot. Because if that, that applies to him, that's going to be amazing to have. But, but let me go ahead and uh, get rid of myself here. Just so you guys can read everything. Alright. So his first skill is Ancient of Weapon. It inflicts really high damage with 100% chance on one enemy. Additional damage that is partial to the enemy's max HP. Oh, Jesus Christ. Pretty sure that doesn't apply for, like, world bosses, right? Okay, instead of max HP. Okay, that's still a lot of damage. Jesus. Attack enemies have a chance of being stunned as well. Well, 100% chance, and it's only for, like, nearly 7 seconds. Drinks over Skipture is his second skill, and increases the party's attack by... 250 for 14 seconds, Jesus. Increases attack per intoxication. This effect cannot be removed. This lasts for a lot. And this cooldown is like really long, but I'm pretty sure Helios can fix that, like always. That, that's a real good one. I like that one. Alright. Falcon's third skill is one shot. Fills your intoxication up to 50 and increases all party members' melee attack by 30% for nearly 8 seconds and casts invisibility. Additionally increases melee attack per intoxication. That, that does sound pretty interesting, especially if you have like a melee party. This would be useful and add on this damage as well with it. But since my party is more ranged right now, and could possibly change, I still might get him, like, in the future. But Llewellyn and, um, let's see. Wait, I'm pretty sure it can go to um, Ravengill, right? Her uh, minions are, her summons are basically melee types. So that could be really helpful for them. Not so much her herself, but her most of her damage is inside of her summons. So that could be really good. And plus it could be really good for um, Margaret for her summons as well. So yeah, I might go for him. Seems like a good choice. Alright, his passives. Blacksmith's Blessing. Falcon's Intoxication decreases by 10 per second and increases the party's normal attack by 100%. Alright, that sounds like really strong. He's like a extremely good buffer so far. Additionally, when Falcon receives damage by magic attacks, the cooldown by... Oh. Oh. That is going to be quite a problem in the PvP. Especially if you're running like mages. You're literally just gonna get Falcon like invincibility over and over and over. If he is tanky. If it's a real tanky one, you're gonna have a hard time killing his team. So it decreases it by 20% at a set rate. Depends on what a set rate is. Alright, his second passive is Tough Liver. I mean, he's been drinking all that much. I I assumed he had them. Okay, it increases all party members' main statuses by 10% and decreases all enemies by 20%. Increase your main stats by 10% for each Bowden in your party. Now that, that's going to be interesting. Because that's basically what Helios uh, Max Ultimate does. So that's going to be like a lower version just by 10%. I'm pretty sure. Wasn't pretty sure her stuff was 
But let's go ahead and look at the max passive. Alright, this is called Cup of Memories. Increases your drinking capacity to increase by max intoxication by 100% and increases all party members attack by 100%. Falcon gains immunity to debuffs inflicted by enemies because he is always drunk. <laughs> Additionally, decreases magic damage received by all party members by 40%. Yeah, Falcon's like a really good tank so far. From what I'm reading, he's like extremely good. And I love his design. If you guys don't know, I'm a real big fan of the fur collars that um, most armors have. That's that's another reason why I like Falcon's design. All right, let's go to Landy and you know get to know her a little bit better. So her normal attack gives allies um, with a buff to heal them over time and increases their attack. Before we go into skills, I'm pretty sure I might replace um, Black with Landy just for like um, PVE. For our PVP, I'm probably gonna keep uh, Black there. We're just going to see how it all works out. But, let's go ahead and look at her skills now. Active skills. Her first skill is called Warm Sunlight. It purifies all LA. It purifies all allies debuffs and defends allies times 2 to prevent buffs from being removed for a nearly 10 seconds. This cooldown is pretty long, but you know, it's still all right. Just because it does defend you for quite a while. And by the time this wears off, Helios would probably get it like probably five seconds, I wanna say. We're probably already done by the time. Alright. Nature Balance is her second skill, and it says if all party members receive damage that is partial of their HP by 25% or more for six seconds, then a buff will be given where only. 20% of the damage is received. Huh. So you, this is mostly to save you from being one-shotted out of nowhere. Is basically what I want to say. Alright. Stormcloud is her third skill and there is a 100% chance that damage received by all enemies increased by 30% for 7.2 seconds and buffs cannot be received. So that's just pretty much keeping um, the enemy from getting their buffs on and plus it's also making them take more damage. So that's really good. Alright, let's go ahead and get into her passives. Her first passive is Wild's Blessing. So increases party members. So increases all party members main stats by 15. That's So that's pretty much higher than um, Falcons, which is pretty interesting. In addition, one ally will recover partial of... In addition, one ally's HP is recovered and partial to 1,350% of Landy's attack for every 8 seconds. Also increase attack and stamina from Oh, so she is mostly dedicated to them just by the first skill. So she's just pretty much there to buff these guys and, you know, get way more damage in. Alright, so that's interesting. This is a world boss if you guys don't know. Alright. Her second passive is the World's Greatness. Increases all party members' stamina. Okay, so she's, she's pretty good. Hold up. So, increases all party members' stamina by 30%. Also, your stamina is increased by 10% for each boatman in your party. Additionally, Landy heals increased by 90%. Hmm. Alright. I can't wait to see all that. that all this sounds really interesting. Alright, Shadow Fiend is the last one and it's her max skill. Warm Sunlight's buff remover skill count increases times two. Oh. Okay, that, that's interesting. And and all party members attack increase by 540%. Also, using the nature balance skill decreases constant damage 
received by allies by 25% and using Stormcloud decreases all enemy magic attack by 50% and range damage received by all party members it decreased by I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a percent or is it I've never seen them use like a normal like stat and now we got the guidebook apparently I've seen this countless of times just pretty much explains like mostly everything to you that's pretty much all you need to know nothing like over the top okay upgrade to beginner special missions new special missions there are gonna be 20 steps through it so you get a choice between a Dragon Buster or Dark Ally once you complete them. Completing each step of the mission it will allow you to claim various prizes. So they still have that going on. Alright, here comes uh, uh, feature changes. Alright. Players will now receive random box items when they use the claim all feature from Mel. Pet info screen will now allow players to navigate between different pets. Info by sliding left and right, or right and left, whichever one you want to go. Players will also be able to check all the own pets by tapping downward to a point marker. Okay. Adding a lock system to skill cards. Actually, that that is pretty good because I can know which ones I don't want to like um, fuse together. Alright, so we're getting new guild content requirements. When you join a new guild or create a new guild, you will not be able to play content for one week to prevent issues. Guild content will now be refreshed for all members at X6 every Monday. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Alright, number five. Combining Aaron, acquiring new cards will now cause a results screen to pop up. Will allow players to check options on newly acquired cards right away. Link between Max Enhance and Limit Breaker Enhance. Wait, what? When an ally has reached the max level of enhancement, a pop up will allow players to navigate through. Oh, okay, okay, I get what they're saying. I get what they're saying because it's gonna automatically take you there so you don't have to like click out and go to like the limit breaker. So it's basically once you get your character to max, they're gonna automatically take you to the um, to limit break, so you guys can continue going on instead of like getting to max and going out then clicking on limit break. That's a small update. All right, number seven, color coding for equipment, option grades. All right, so best option. Red and other options, orange. Costume set option line increased. Now we'll display two lines of set options. All right, number nine. Allies manage formation. Ratings category added. So I guess that's pretty much what everybody is supposed to be. Pretty sure, it, I guess it's like ranking of like how many people use a certain like Formation, I guess? Number 10. Fight last week's uh, record feature added. Okay, so it just pretty much shows you the progress you had like last week. Okay, the last one is number 11 and no pop up for title added. Oh, it seems like we're getting another event. Alright, so. Alright, so they're adding in those uh, lock scrolls that I've seen inside the Korean version. I wasn't sure what they were for. Combining locked equipment, navigate to lock option from equipment info, then lock option menu does not have to go through workshop. Can register a locked what can register a locked item. Added a button that takes players to locked option page right away on combine equipment page. When lock option scroll is insufficient, let's players purchase it right away. All right, so let's look at these ice cream events. I'm not really like, yay, hooray on that one right now. So we're going back to the drop events, which is gonna be fun just because, you know, I already have like 
just because I grind like every day now. <laughs> uh, so we got some few like things we can go after. If anything, I'll probably just be aiming for these and more of these just to stack up on raid tickets, you know. But that's all for that uh, patch notes, guys. Uh, I'm going to start doing all this now. And sadly, today is the end of a little special event of like fighting the bosses and doing certain things for like these rewards and everything. So they're giving us a triple S as the last one, which is fine by me. Let me just go ahead and combine these. I might have enough to give to Llewellyn. Nah, that's gonna be a while. Never mind. I, I just started counting, distracting from that. Yeah. Because I could keep going for Llewellyn and wait off Landy. But I honestly want to try Landy out, so Llewellyn, I'm sorry, babe, you're gonna have to wait. But guys, that is it for all the patch notes. We're gonna at least do this once before we like actually end up and talk just a little bit more. So I'm actually looking forward to Landy because some of her skills are really gonna help out. Especially, I want to compare her to um, Black and see how that works out. So this is going to be interesting to see which healer I'm going to, you know, stick with for a while. And Jesus, we are racking up score. We're definitely going to pass our own score. We're out here making records, guys. Uh, but I also want to work on Falcon as well. But I'm not sure. If I get Falcon, I'm going to replace uh, Kamel. And once I get... um. Landy, I'm probably going to replace a uh, black. And once I get Margaret, I am more than likely going to replace uh, Ravengill with Margaret. Or I might keep Ravengill and replace somebody else and just have them as helpers. That's also an option. So, uh, you know, I got plenty of choices. I can wait it off and just see how everything goes. Yeah, we're just going to see how everything goes. But at the moment, right now, I'm just trying to, like, max out Llewellyn. Then I'm going to see who do I want to work on first, Landy or Black. Then, then between one of them, I'll probably just max him out first. And I'll just save off the, the daughter one, like, way down the road. Then I'm going to start on um, Margaret. Jeez, this thing has been going off, like, so many times inside of here. I guess it's just been going at it. Alright, come on. Yeah, we're definitely getting in score. So far, this is success. I wonder how far it's gonna, it's gonna go. <laughs> you guys see the progress we're making? We're making real good progress here. Oh yeah, that's another thing I was supposed to say. Um, I finally got my um, I finally got my anime list um, up and done. I just had to update it with a few animes that I've actually already watched, and I'm still searching for the rest of them that I've watched because I know there's like a lot more. There's nearly already like I think 150 of them that I've completed that are on that list, and then there's probably like probably 30 more I can add on to that list. But I'm going to put the link down in the description so you guys can look at that because, like I said, most of you guys always ask me what animes do I watch, what, what are ones that I've seen. I'm just going to put that list up there so you guys can go check for yourselves and, you know, probably find some new animes that you guys might enjoy. Not only that, most of those animes are pretty much, I've, Jesus. I think my, um, my anime chart is probably like 2016 owed, but... Most of the animes I added on there are probably the animes I've watched since uh, 
2012 is what I want to say, but pretty sure it was like 2000, like nine is all the anime that I've watched up to then. Maybe like more than that, actually. But if you guys want to ask me questions, do not be afraid. I will. I am a nice person. Most of the time. But I would answer it like mostly any questions you guys have at any time. But guys, I'm going to wrap up here. Hope you guys enjoy the patch and Landy or Falcon, whichever one you're going to get. And give me your opinion on the two characters, if you guys have any. From what the skills that I've um, showed you guys, how do you think each character are going to work out, if anything? I will see you guys next time on the next Dragon Blaze video, which my Dragon Blaze videos are Tuesday and Friday. Till then, peace out.